Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at Topaz Photo AI's Super Focus. It has some new features that have been added to it. We're going to get a look at those today. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, we're looking at Topaz Photo AI. We're looking at Super Focus, but specifically to the changes that have been added to Focus Boost. Focus Boost now has AI upscaling. And it's for really blurry images. And what it does is it corrects images that are missing detail by downscaling your image. Then it upscales that result back to the original size. So we're going to check that out today. And then we'll compare that result with some of the AI sharpened models that are already in Topaz Photo AI just for some comparison. But before we start, I just want to tell you there's some really good Black Friday sales going on. Over at the TK Web Store, there's a Black Friday sale from Friday, November 29th to Monday, December 2nd. You're going to get 25% off on my TK Friday video. I'll give you a special promo code to get those sale prices. So tune in on TK Friday. I'll give you that code. The next big Black Friday sale I want to tell you about is Topaz Labs. All of their products are on sale right now. All you need to do is click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. That'll take you over to the Topaz Black Friday sale. I really appreciate it when you use my link. When you do, I make a small commission and that supports the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. So thank you for that. And by the way, there's a DxO Black Friday sale going on right now. You can save up to 50% off in all DxO software. Again, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below this video. Click on that link. It'll take you over to the Black Friday sale. Well, let's get going. This is one of my flower images. It's on the soft side. It's really out of focus. If I zoom in, you can see it is really really soft but we're going to see what uh, super focus can do on this image now i went ahead and duplicated my background layer and called it tpai for topaz photo ai i'm just going to come up here to filter and find topaz labs and click on topaz photo ai we'll get it launched and let's see what we can do with this image i wanted to give you this video a few weeks back but when i clicked on super focus i got this message super focus is not currently supported on your gpu now the computer i was using it on was an imac 2019 intel model so it will not work in that computer now needless to say i was a bit upset i went out and bought a new mac i ended up getting a mac studio which works great with topaz photo AI. I knew it was only a matter of time till I had to replace my iMac, but I guess I did it a lot sooner than I thought I would have. It's a little over five years old right now. And so today I'm working on the new Mac Studio. Now you're going to find Super Focus Beta right here next to Remove Object. Now remember, it's only in beta, so it should improve as time goes on. So just click on Super Focus Beta and you're greeted with this interface. This is pretty simple to use. You notice you have three sharpened strengths, low, medium, and high. Now, I highly recommend on an image like this with an out-of-focus background that you go ahead and click Edit Selection. And for Auto Selection, I'm going to click in the drop-down and just click on Subject because there's no need to sharpen the entire image. And then I'll click on Controls. Now, if you did try to sharpen the entire image, you may get some weird results in that out-of-focus background. So for something like this, you only want to sharpen the subject. Before we get to focus boost, let's look at the sharpened strength of low, medium, and high. Do you see this square box right here? If I click right now, we could render this image out and it would be using the low sharpened strength. Now we have preview control. You can use a small box, a uh, medium box, it's a little bit larger, or a large box. Now the large box takes the longest amount of time to render out the pre-result and small would take the least amount of time once you found the setting you like you click on render now that'll take a lot longer than just clicking and sampling a certain area of the image i'll click on medium this will take a little longer to render but i'm going to click right here and this will be in real time and that way you can see how long it takes on my new computer here and i just want to give you some realistic idea of how long this actually takes now if i would have chosen the small preview size it would have done this probably in about half of the time but it's almost there now and we will take a look at the final result now remember we're using low now it's finished and now look inside of this box i'm going to hold my spacebar down here's before 
in here's after. So it's a little better, but I would like it a lot sharper than that. So let's try medium next. So I'll click on medium. And this time I'll click on the large box, but I won't make you wait. So I'm going to click right here. I'll let this render out and I'll get right back to you. And now here is the result. Let me hold down the space bar. Here's before and I'll release the space bar and here is after. So it's definitely better, but I'd like it even better. Let's click on high and let me do this one more time. I'm going to click right here. And now it's done. Let's see it before and after. I'll hold down the space bar. Here's before. And now I'll release the space bar. And here's after. So it's a little better than medium. But now we're going to try focus boost. I'm still using the large preview. I'm going to click on low and then click on minor. So we'll try minor focus boost with low. Then we'll go to medium and then high. And then we'll try major on low, medium, and high and see what kind of results we get. I'll go ahead and click right here. I'm not going to make you wait again. And here's our final result. Now, here's before. I'm holding down the space bar. Here's before. I'll release the space bar. Here's after. Definitely a big improvement, wouldn't you say? Now, if I wanted to, I could click down here and try another test. So now if you look in this square and this square, you could see what that render looks like. And I must say that looks good. Now, by the way, you could click clear preview, but I find if you go to a different strength or a different focus boost, it will automatically clear itself. So I'm going to go to medium and now let's click right in here. By the way, to see before and after, you can also come down here and click on the eye. There's before and click the eye again. Here's after. I like it, but I still think I like low better. Now let's click on high and let's click in this area here and see what kind of result we get. And there is high. That's not too bad. Let's try another spot. Let's go down here and click and render out in this area. Not too bad. It looks a little bit artificial right down in here, so I'm not sure I'm liking that. But that's what these little boxes are all about. You can test it out. Now let's go ahead and click on major and try low first. You'll notice my preview box is a lot larger. I am using large preview, but when you're using major, the box is bigger. So let's click and see what kind of result we get. This is major low. Now, I think that looks very artificial. I don't like that one. Let's click on medium, and I'll click and see what kind of result we get. Mm, not happy with that one either. Let's click on high, and I'll click right here. And that is just way over the top for me. So I don't like that. So I'm going to go back and click on minor for focus boost and low for sharpen strength. After all my testings, I believe those are the settings I like the best. Now all I need to do at this point is to go ahead and click on render and we'll render this out. And I'll let you know how long it finally took. And I'm back. Now that took about three minutes on my computer. Now that'll vary on different computers. I mean, it could take up to an hour or two hours. I don't know. It really depends on your computer. Let's go ahead and see a before and after. I'm going to click on the split screen button. I'm going to drag this line to the left. Right now you're seeing the flower before and I'll drag this across. And now here is the after. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed by that. I think it did a really good job. Let's go ahead and zoom in to, let's try 200%. Now let me drag this line back over. There's before and here is after. So I think it's done a pretty amazing job. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And now all we need to do is export this back to Photoshop. So on the bottom right hand side of the interface, I'll click on export to Adobe Photoshop. And just like that, we're back in Photoshop. Let me shut off this Topaz Photo AI layer. Here's before and here is after. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And now let me shut off this layer. Here's before and here's after. I'm pretty impressed. Now let's do a comparison between some of the original Sharpen AI models. And I picked two that look the best in this image. And I want to compare those to the new Super Focus Beta AI Sharpening. Right now, there's no sharpening. Now I'll turn on this layer, which has Lens Blur version 2. So let me turn it on. This is with it on. I'll shut it off. This is with it off. And here it is back on. Let me shut this off. No sharpening. And now this is with the strong AI model in Photo AI. So let me turn this on. This is with the strong AI model. And now let me shut it off. That's without sharpening. And here it is again with the strong AI model. And now there's no sharpening. And now let's compare that with the result I got with Super Focus Beta. 
So this is before sharpening and this is after. So before and after. So I'm really impressed by this. Now, is it perfect? No. Because if you look like right here, this water drop looks a little funky and there's a little line here, but I could take care of that. What I could do is add a new blank pixel layer and get my remove tool. And what I could do is just paint over this and get rid of that drop. And that little line that's right in here, I could just paint right across here and that goes away. So you might have to do a little bit of repair here and there, but all in all, I'm really happy with this. Now, I went ahead and zoomed way in so you could really compare the different sharpened models. Now, here is the lens blur model. I'm going to turn it on. This is lens blur. I'll shut it off. And now let's go to the strong AI model. I'll turn it on. Here it is with it. And here it is without it. And now let me go to the super focus beta model. I'll turn it on. Here it is with and here it is without. So you could really just see it up close and personal. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.